all you sexy people out there, it's Wednesday. That means it's comic book day. Let's see what I got. First up is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue number one. This is from Boom Studio Comic Books. Yes, that Mighty Morphin Power Rangers from the mid-90s. The storyline takes place sometime after Tommy has already redeemed himself and has joined the team as the Green Ranger. This first issue is okay. It's nothing too spectacularly awesome. It is pretty cool to see the original characters being drawn on panel. This isn't the first comic book to have the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in it, but it has been some time since we've seen them on panel. Really hoping this isn't going to be a bland comic book based on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers from the 90s where everything is all kidified and that we can have some serious subject matter. Already in this first issue, it looks like they're going away from the norm somewhat and showing them in their homes, which is something we never really saw too much in the original TV series. Hey, maybe we'll be able to see different dimensions and they'll be able to cross over with the Sentai version of their universe. It's Kaiyu Sentai Zayu Ranger, I think. I'm not really exactly sure how to pronounce it properly, but that would be so cool. Next up, I got Walking Dead issue number 152. Rick and his people and the two different civilizations that he's running are preparing for war against a people called the Whisperers. But there's an idiot in their camp that's going to cause a whole lot of problems, including releasing a very, very powerful enemy. And it's Walking Dead, so you know that's not going to end well. Next, I got Old Man Logan number three. This is a Marvel Comics title. The premise of this story is that Old Man Logan, who happens to be Wolverine from the future, has been brought back to today's time. And he wants to kill a lot of the villains that caused him trouble in the future because in his head he thinks that's going to help out all the heroes in the present day and in the future as well. Wolverine always seemed to like young women sidekicks. He had it with Jubilee, he had it with Kitty Pride. In this issue he has the female Hawkeye who she's not really young. In fact I think she's supposed to be in her 20s at this point but still it is another sidekick that he brought in. Although he doesn't really want her to be tagging along but she's going to do it anyway. This time they're trying to hunt down Mysterio. Which if you read the original Old Man Logan storyline Mysterio is the guy that caused major problems with Wolverine when the big attack took place in his future. Next up is Darth Vader number 17. This is from Marvel Comics. This is part two to the Shu Torin War that's taking place. Vader assassinated the royal family and the princess has been placed as the head. Vader is somewhat like her bodyguard but at the same time he's also like a general trying to take down the rebellion. He's pretty ruthless in what he does but he's also a badass at the same time too. We know he's going to be redeemed sometime down the line but at the current point he's just a bad guy who's somewhat like an anti-hero. Next up is Batman Beyond number 10. If you're not aware, my boy Tim Drake, who I'm a huge fan of, is the current Batman. The future is very apocalyptic. Metropolis is in ruins. Gotham is one of the few cities out there that still has some semblance of order. Most people think that the Justice League is dead. However, this issue proves that to be wrong. And there's a big battle taking place between them and Batman. It's pretty cool how they end this off. In the next issue, I'm pretty sure it's going to be even more epic. And by the way, Terry McGinnis, who was the Batman Beyond from the cartoon, is dead in the comic book series. But his little brother is alive and kicking and helping out with Tim Drake. Next up, I got Batman and Robin Eternal number 22. This comic book series focuses much more on the Bat sidekicks or the Bat family rather than Batman himself. The focus on this storyline is on a terrorist by the name of Mother, who's found a way to control massive amounts of people under the age of 20 to become assassins for her. And all the Robins are trying to defeat her. Originally, it was just Dick, Jason, and Tim, but Damian Wayne just entered into the fray too. So far, the story hasn't been shifted completely onto him yet but if that happens, chances are I'll probably stop reading this comic book. Next up is Uncanny X-Men number 5. The Dark Riders are going around the world, killing off any mutant that is a healer. Magneto has formed his own band of X-Men, who are a bit more ruthless in the way they do things, and they're a bit more ready to kill. His heart is in the right place, but he's definitely not a good guy. He's just looking out for the mutants that are still left on Earth. A lot of mutants have been killed off, or they've been sterilized from the Terrigen Mist that entered into Earth's atmosphere. The next issue, he's going to be entering into the battle, so that should be pretty darn cool. Finally, I got Spider-Man number two. This is Miles Morales Spider-Man. I'm a huge fan of Miles Morales. I love his character. I love his design too. I also love the artwork in this comic book. This was done by Brian Michael Bendis and the artwork was done by Sarah Pacelli. Miles is still really young and inexperienced, but still he was able to save the Avengers from a very powerful threat. And they're starting to address what a lot of fans are asking and that's why are the two Spider-Men. So it's cool that Miles is going through his own social problems with his own family and friends and he has to be able to deal with all this while focusing on being Spider-Man at the same time. So that's my comic load for this week. I also got Midnighter number 10, but that definitely deserves its own video on its own. Midnighter is a great series, and unfortunately, we're only going to have two more issues before the series ends, which I'm very sad about. Well, that's it for now. Thank you guys for joining me in this comic book review. Be sure to check out my social media site, my Patreon site, and everything else out there. Anyways, I'll join you guys for another video very soon. Peace.